Do you ever notice how there seems to be more Canadians in the vinyl community than there seems to be Canadians in Canada? I think some people are faking the accent. Hi there, vinyl community, music lovers. Uh, my name's Tom. You're watching my channel, High Rant District. And uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes to uh, talk about an album I received in the mail yesterday by a band uh, from Canada. Uh, I was turned on to them by a new VC member. Uh, his name is Andrew at Digestion Records. Digestion Records? It's early. I haven't had enough caffeine. Uh, the uh, album... It's uh, called, the album uh, is called uh, Desire Will Rot, and the name of the band is Fuck the Facts. This is, uh, they're self-described, I think, as a Canadian, uh, the hell, Canadian bastardized grindcore. So, uh, you know, it's kind of abrasive. Let's take a look at the back cover there. And uh, I ordered this directly from the band, as far as I can tell. Here's a inner sleeve. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I went to their website. They have a Bandcamp page, and uh, you know they have uh, the albums on digital download, CD, uh, vinyl. You know, clearly I bought the vinyl version. Uh, they've got a hundred. Uh, I think it was printed as like a hundred on a splatter and uh, four hundred on uh, black vinyl. And. Here's a look at the vinyl. I got the splatter version. It's very, very sharp. Yeah, I was ordering this directly from Canada. I live in the United States. So I think with the shipping and all, it was about 22 bucks and change. Canadian dollar is nearly worthless right now. So like, if you're buying it with American dollars, shop in Canada. As long as the shipping's not crazy. Uh, the, uh, the first side of the album is, you know, straight ahead grindcore, uh, just like, you know, head banging. Uh, it's a uh, you know it's metal. Uh, it's it's grindcore. It's uh, aggressive, loud, guttural. And you know, last night you know I work mostly from home, so this last night I'm just like fading. You know, just trying to work on a project, and, uh, and I'm like, all right, let me pop this on. I popped on the record. You know, it's just like, all right, got me going again. And, uh, you know, it's kind of an unusual album. Like, you know, it's like straight ahead grindcore, hard uh, on the side A, and then side B, you flip it over, and it's got some th different things going on. And uh, Andrew uh, mentioned this, too. It's like uh, there's like some, uh, you know, guitar solo, some like almost like kind of groovy sound to some of it. It's it's almost like two different records, uh, but the, the second side is extremely interesting. Uh, anyway, the, the part like, you know, the record showed up, came i could see from the mailing label it came from uh, gatineau uh which is in the pq uh, it's like if you're familiar at all with canada you know the, ca the capital of canada is ottawa and then right across the river uh you know ottawa is in on the province of ontario gatineau is just right across the river uh in uh, quebec the uh inner sleeve you know it's paper inner sleeve but it's black it is minor stuff but like you know it's like that that fits the record you know, the color of the sleeve fits the record. You know, it's like that little detail, you know, is uh, is very hip. Uh, so anyway, you know, I just opened up the uh, package when it arrived yesterday. I was just tickled at the stuff inside. Uh, let's see. You got uh, download code. Uh, little flyer talking about the band. Got the, they sent a sticker with their Fuck the Facts logo on there, I guess. I got, uh, let's see, they sent a sticker for uh, Lace Pickups. Punching bad tone in the dick since 1979. You just like open this up and it's like, you just like, you see this stuff and it's just like tickles you. Because like, you order something from Amazon and I have no complaints about Amazon, you know, it's a, they've, they've never steered me wrong. But, like, you get something directly from the label or directly from the band, and, you know, sometimes they just take the extra care to put the little stuff in. And I won't show what this is, but just, like, they dropped a DVD in there of an actual movie. 
It's a movie that they just sent with the record. A good movie. Now, I won't go into what it is. But, you know, just like, that's that's ridiculously awesome. You know, just the uh, care that this, you know, band put into, like, just shipping out, like, this their record to, like, a random person in the United States. It's unbelievable. Um, you know, I don't want to go on a rant here, but, like, you know, when you talk about, like, uh, trying to stay away from buying reissues of older records and, like, you know, record store day, you know, all the reissues, tying up record plants and, you know, basically let's, like, kind of fucking over small bands that have to wait, like, you know, 10 months or whatever for their vinyl to get pressed and, you know, like any small business. Uh, if you're familiar with small business, you know, being out your cash for 10 months is before you can start recouping it, it's like a long, long time. Um, but just, you know, this is, you know, it's blah, blah, blah. I'm, like, I'm tired, it's early. But, you know, support small bands, you know, if you can spend a couple, two, three, four extra bucks, if that's all it costs to, like, go directly you know, to a label or to a band to get the record, you should do so. Uh, I'll put a link to the band's uh, page, webpage down below where you can order the record. And uh, I'm going to put a link down to uh, Andrew's uh, channel, too, uh, who turned me on to this. Uh, he seems like a really interesting dude. And I kind of, like, I get the flavor of, like, you know, when I put this album on last night, you know, it's funny because the girls were out of the house. And he talks about, you know, like, he's got this, you know, playing grindcore when nobody's around. But, like, when company's over, he's like, I know most people don't want to listen to this, so here's some other stuff. Let me show you these records, like, when I, when I play when company's over. So it's kind of like... I, he nailed it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to shut the hell up and uh, go have some tea or something.